No temptation has ever taken you, except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. For when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 A wise man once said, that temptation is a devil looking through the keyhole, yielding is opening the door and inviting him in. It is inevitable that temptations will come to us, but what is not inevitable is that we must give in to them when they do. Scriptures promise that with temptation, God provides a way out. In order not to yield to temptation when it comes to you, you must follow carefully these things that I'm about to share with you. Firstly, the very beginning of man's fall teaches us a great lesson and we all must learn from Eve. Don't believe the lie when it's told. The lesson to learn from Eve's fatal mistake when she was tempted is this. Beloved, do not believe the devil's lies. Since the Garden of Eden, Satan has been waging a battle for our minds. His strategy with Eve was to put a question mark where God has placed an exclamation mark. He said to her, did God really say? The devil's tactics have not changed. He attacks by tempting us to question the word and the character of God. The lie of the devil is that we can find greater gratification apart from God. That sin will make us happier and more content. The lie is that we can be our own gods, that we can live for the created and not for the creator without consequence. Don't believe the lie when sin never delivers what is promised. Don't believe the new age philosophy that says that the devil is just your own internal evil, your own personal devil. No! Jesus had no evil in him, but yet the Bible says that the devil came. The Bible calls the devil the tempter, the roaring lion seeking to devour you. The devil is real. He is as real as it gets. He is evil and powerful and he hates you. He wants to destroy your life. Temptation starts in our minds. The way to not allow ourselves to be conformed to the world's thinking begins with allowing God to transform our lives. The world wants to capture our minds. It pressures us from the outside to conform our thinking to each pattern of thinking. But the Holy Spirit is working within us to change our minds so that we can recognize that God's will is good and is pleasing and is perfect. Because of God's transformative work in us, we don't have to fall captive to the devil's lies. Instead, we go on the offense. We use the language of warfare. Paul said, we take every thought captive to obey Christ. Learn from Joseph and run. The Bible says that Joseph escaped and ran outside. There are times when running away is an act of cowardice, but there are also times when running is evidence of integrity. Joseph lost his garment by running for the second time in his life, but he kept his integrity. Notice the persistence of Joseph's temptation. It says Potiphar's wife spoke to Joseph day after day, according to Genesis chapter 39 verse 10. He could never let down his guard. The temptation posed by this woman was a daily battle. One day, Joseph found himself in a dangerous circumstance alone in the house with a woman. None of the household servants were there. And she grabbed him by his garments and said, Sleep with me. And then Joseph recognized that some circumstances really call for running. Most of the time, the wise thing is to run from temptations. Unless there is no way to escape it, don't stay in the presence of temptation. Avoid situations when you know that you will be tempted to do wrong. Again, let us learn from the way Jesus used the word of God. He said, go away Satan, for it is written. Beloved, I want you to understand that temptation will come to every single one of us. Some of you are thinking, if I'm being tempted by the devil to sin, then there must be something wrong with me. I shouldn't be having this kind of thoughts and feelings. If I was a strong Christian, if my heart was pure, then I wouldn't be having all of these problems and all of these conflicts and struggles. Well, think about that for a second. Can you imagine yourself to be so filled with the Holy Spirit, so led by the Holy Spirit that your heart is perfectly fine, that you absolutely please God in every way? Do you think that if you leave this super spiritual life, then there would be no temptation? Well, someone actually did live that way. Jesus Christ. He was filled with the Spirit and He was led by the Spirit. He had a heart that was absolutely pure and righteous and holy. And yet, He was tempted by the devil. 
If the devil had the audacity to tempt Jesus, then he will come after you and after me. The longer we are saved, the more the devil would like to take us down. We will never be mature enough or holy enough or live long enough to grow past temptation. The lesson to be learned is not simply to quote the Bible, but rather to use it. What is the difference? Satan quoted the Bible. Well, actually he misquoted it. Knowing Bible verses and being able to quote them is a helpful defense in resisting the devil's attacks. Living by the Bible, however, is imperative. The devil knew scriptures, but he just didn't obey them. It was in his head, not in his heart. So don't just quote the Bible. Use it as a lamp for your feet and a light for your path. According to Psalm 119 verse 105. A lot of practical counsel will be found in Psalm 119 concerning the use of the word of God in combating temptations. It illustrates that we must treasure the word of God. The psalmist says that I have treasured your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. I have treasured in my heart. It indicates more than just routine memorization. It indicates the passion for God's word that grows out of a deeper longing for God. It is God that we seek in his word. Since I have sought you with all of my heart, the key to overcoming temptation is wanting God a lot more than you want what temptation promises. In overcoming temptation, you've got to delight in the word of God. It says, I delight in your commandment, which I love. That's Psalm 119 verse 47. For you to delight in the scripture, you've got to give your whole life and your energy to know about it and to obey it. You've got to study and meditate on it. And finally, pray for understanding. Help me understand your instructions and I will obey it and follow it with all my heart. According to Psalm 119 verse 34, leave the word. The Bible says, how can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping your word. To end, I would like to remind you that temptation is not sin. Jesus was tempted, we know, but he never sinned. The sin is given into temptation, yielding to the temptation. Temptation is the tempter knocking on the door. And sin is opening the door and letting him in. Someone once said, You cannot keep a bird from flying over your head, but you can keep him from building a nest in your hair. Temptation will come to every single one of us, but we can overcome it when we live by God's word. God bless you.